Welcome to this video where I'm going to talk you through how to use the zip function in Python. Um, this is really good because it allows you to combine uh, three, four, five separate lists together and it um, compiles them all, um, which, is, which is really useful. It's probably easy to share a demonstration. So um, first I'm going to do is I'm going to create my lists. So we're going to have uh, names. Now let's have uh, Freddy and a Brian. And we're going to have John. Okay, uh, then we're going to have the roles. Singer. Good turn. Bass, was he? Or drums? Have to check on that one. Looks like he's the bassist. That's good. I'm trying to remember what the uh, other member was called, so perhaps you could uh, list that in the comments. Um, okay, and then let's have uh, nature. So I'll have showman. And then uh, what have we got next? Um, geek, I suppose. Okay, so there are my three lists of um, the name of the person, their role, and uh, their temperament or nature. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to combine these together. So I'm going to just make a variable called final list. I'm going to use this zip function, which is going to zip together the name, the role, and also the nature list. Okay, so they are now stored in the uh, variable final list. Okay, and then what I always want to do is I want to print that out. So I'm going to go to print. Well, first of all, actually, they're, they're zipped now, so I need to be able to unzip them into the list. So I'm going to make this now into Let's call it unzipped or find actually. Let's call that final list one. Let's call it zip list because it, this is what it is. It's a zip list. And press down and then we're going to call this one final list. And this is going to be equal to making a list of the zip list. Okay, so you see what I've done now. I've basically said, right, here's the three lists. I'm going to zip them together, and I'm going to create a final list, which is a list of the zip list. And then the final thing you need to do is obviously print this out. Okay, let's uh, run that, and you'll see save oh, I was trying to run it on the tiny so let's just come out of that a minute so we want to make sure we're doing this in Python 3 standard Python 3. Okay, here we go. Run this, and you can see it combines them. So Freddie's the singer and the showman, Brian is the guitarist, and he's a geek, and John is the bass, and he's the bass man. And uh, it's really, really quick and really useful way to combine the lists. 
Um, we can also just pick out one entry from the list as well. So if I wanted, say, the um, second entry from the list, I can obviously index it uh, for a run. Just prints out the second person on the list. Brian is guitarist and a geek. And then obviously we can um, update it. So I'm going to put in their vices. What did Freddie like? Have a drink. And then uh, Brian was probably dwarfs, maybe. Or physics, <laughs> planets, solar system. Slander, so let's just say nice clothes, fancy clothes. And John's vice was base. Um, now, what I need to do is just click in here and I can go comma vice. And if we run this now. has now added the elements which is great and I can just pick out one random person or one random entry so let's go with zero let's do Freddy's oh oops are on the wrong bit so I'm just going to print out Freddy and there we go uh, so, quick, easy description and example of how to use the zip function in um, Python. Really simple to use, really useful. Uh, leave your comments below, uh, especially if you can name the fourth member of that famous band. And uh, yeah, thanks for your time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.